okay, same problem tayo. Pero, ang shipping term naman ay FOB, shipping point, freight, collect. Okay, kapag FOB shipping point, balikan natin yung ating note. Kapag FOB shipping point, ang may-ari ng goods in transit ay si buyer. Since si buyer ang may-ari ng goods in transit, siya ang dapat na mag-shoulder ng shipping cost. Si buyer dapat ang magbayad ng shipping cost. Freight collect. Who pays the freight cost? Freight collect, buyer. FOB shipping point, freight collect. So, ibig sabihin, si buyer dapat ang mag-shoulder ng shipping cost. Si buyer dapat ang magbabayad ng shipping cost. Pero, since freight collect, si buyer din naman ang nagbayad ng freight cost. So, parang ano siya, parang usual naman siya kasi iisang party lang yung dapat magbayad ng freight cost and yung actual na party na nagbayad ng freight cost, which is si buyer. Si buyer ang in charge sa freight cost at siya rin ang nagbayad. So, a-update natin yung ating table dito. FOB shipping point, freight collect. So, sulat natin. FOB shipping point freight collect okay meaning si buyer ang shoulder ng freight cost si buyer din ang nagbayad ng freight cost so i-apply lang natin siya sa problem kasi FOB shipping point freight collect na ito same requirement journal entries for Sana and Momo company Okay, unahin natin si Sana. June 16, so um, June 16. Sold merchandise on account, um, 6,000 pesos. Credit, sales, 6,000 pesos. How about the shipping cost? Kailangan bang mag-record ni Sana ng shipping cost? Hindi na niya kailangan. Kasi FOB shipping point. Si buyer ang, may, ang mag-shoulder ng freight cost. So, si buyer ang mag-record ng um, expense for shipping cost. Momo received the goods and Sana Company's invoice on June 17. So, magre-record na si Momo June 17. Debit, purchases, credit, accounts payable, 6,000 pesos. And, basahin natin yung additional information dito. Momo Company paid the shipping cost on June 17 and remitted 5,880 on June 24. Momo Company paid the shipping cost on June 17. So, since ito ay freight collect, si buyer ang nagbayad ng freight cost. Momo Company is the buyer, binayaran niya noong June 17. So, nagbayad siya ng shipping cost, ng freight cost, so, ang entry natin would be, alam na natin na ang entry ay may credit na cash, 600 pesos sa side ni Momo. And ano yung debit? Ano yung debit? Ang debit niya ay freight, out or in? Freight in ba or freight out? Since ito ay um, freight for purchases, ito ay freight in. Kapag freight out, yun ay pertaining sa freight charges ng sales. Kumbaga, para siyang, pag freight out kasi parang delivery expense sa point of view ni um, seller. So, since na freight, ito ay freight in kasi purchases. 600 pesos. 
And remember, FOB shipping point. So, si buyer ang magre-record ng expense for shipping cost. Kasi siya yung magsha-shoulder ng freight cost. Kaya sana, walang entry na required. On June 24, Momo Company sent the payment to Sana Company, which Sana Company received June 25. So, June 24... So, pumasok sa discount period. Actually, na-mention na ito pala, 5,880. So, debit accounts payable, 6,000. Credit cash, 5,880. So, nakuha yung 5,880 na yan. 6,000 times 98%. Kasi na-avail yung discount period. Na-avail yung discount na 2%. So, 98% na lang yung babayaran niya. And yung 2% doon, credit, purchase discounts, 120. That is 6,000 times 2%. And sa point of view naman ni Sana, na-receive niya yung payment June 25. So, dito na siya mag-record ng debit, cash, 5,880. Debit, Sales discount 120 pesos, credit accounts receivable 6,000 pesos. So tapos na ulit ang entries needed for Sana Company which is ito and entries needed for Momo Company which is ito naman. So ganito yung entries kapag FOB shipping point freight collect and Tatlo na yung nagagawa natin na freight terms. So, meron na tayong FOB Destination Freight Prepaid, FOB Destination Freight Collect, FOB Shipping Point Freight Collect. So, yung last natin, FOB Shipping Point Freight Prepaid.